is a lot of stuff to remember. But here. Yeah, this is your oh, new album. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank the, you. The Detour record. Now, this is Detour, uh, yeah, which sorry. you can get your... <gasps> Which you. you can get your mitts on now. It is out now. It is? Uh, oh, yeah. It is. It yeah. is. It's okay. out now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what <laughs> can, Cindy, what can you tell us about the, uh, about the new album? Oh, well, it was a, you know, when I did the Memphis Blues thing, I chose yep. a certain time period. Well, this is kind of like the counterpoint to it. Both time periods is when blues and country kind of melded together and made rock and roll which is what i've done most of my life yeah. you know the you know i don't think i would have sung girls just want to have mm. fun or she bop without listening to the great singers like wanda jackson like patsy klein like hank williams like jerry lee lewis like elvis presley like you know so many and willie nelson of course what he wrote crazy you know mm. and i actually he came into the studio to sing i almost you know i didn't cry because there's no crying in rock and roll <laughs> <laughs> okay. and yeah. but i felt like it because it was like yoda yeah, yeah you know totally. what i mean because yeah. you know he's written 300 songs yeah. and it was kind of like oh my god you know and of course i waited in the front and they came in the back in the bus you know the bus and they said, you want to go on the bus? But I didn't because I heard a story of somebody waking up in a different town. <laughs> so I was like, I have to finish the record, but someday I want to go on that bus. You got, you know? you got it. You're a professional. You're a professional. <laughs> I always have to remember I'm a professional. Yeah, you got, you yes, got to remember the that record well. has to come first. It I get that. It does indeed. <laughs> well, you mentioned Willie Nelson, who's clearly a legend uh, and uh, viewed that way by many. What did you make of Bob Dylan receiving a Nobel Prize for Literature uh, recently for his music writing over the years? Which, to date, I don't think Bob Dylan has actually responded no, to no. the receiving of the yeah. award so far. He's an odd duck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but the truth is, is that his song, Blowing in the Wind, was used prominently in um, a civil rights song, mm. a civil rights movement. Yeah. Um, he also has written many, many stories that are quite beautiful. Sad Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. Mm. Um, that I mean, you can go back, you know, not more of the pop things, but they're wonderful lyrics and mm. stories, you know. And um, I think because his music, because he's getting older now, and because his music really di did play a key role in our country civil rights mm. movement that they felt they should give him a prize for that yeah um and if you can write something that inspires people that's great you know mm. you really have to always focus on i mean even with kinky boots we focused on or i wanted it to be uplifting mm. you know it's not like Bob Dylan. I'm not Bob. I'll never be Bob Dylan. I went to Nashville after I saw Nashville Cats, yeah. thinking, you know, I saw Bob Dylan and I saw, you know, Johnny Cash. And then I get there and I'm not like them at all. What a drag, right? <laughs> now, now I have to think, how do I connect to these guys? Yeah, yeah. Because they were all the cats, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. And, and they play every day. Unlike the blues guys, they play but it was really different with them i can't explain it. it was more spiritual you had to find a way the door what what that door in was to get to that spiritual place when you're singing so that it becomes otherworldly and it took like the first song i sang with them i sucked yeah, it was right. bad <laughs> and then and i realized it was because i didn't connect they connected, but I was the outsider. Yeah. Mm. So I had to sing. It was the Wanda Jackson song, Funnel of Love. That's when I remembered I was in Blue Angel and I was in a rockabilly band. I know this stuff. Mm. And then yeah. all of a sudden we started to jam a little and it came alive and then that became the bar that it was about the connection. Mm. Yeah. But it wasn't like Bob Dylan or Johnny Cash. You know, mm. it's a drag. 
Even even the yodeling, I had to get Jewel because she yodels. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, they said that Peter Gabriel learned how to yodel in three lessons. <laughs> and I tried it, right? But I'm not Peter Gabriel either. It was so disappointing. Uh, but you, you called in Jewel. I did. <laughs> and, and she came in. And it even and says... Take it, Jewel, and there yeah. she is. And Pretty there, funny. Yeah. Well, and Very nice. And you've got Willie Nelson as well. Uh, the new album and is called... Vince Gill, and Vince Gill, and Alison Krauss, and Emmy Lou Harris. Can and you they, believe it? They are all on the new album called Detour, which is available now. Uh, and the other thing you absolutely must do before December 11 is go and see Kinky Boots at Her Majesty's Theatre. We'll put a link on the Gold website where Wait you can a get some tickets. Can yes. I tell you something? Yes. As of today... Yeah. They extended it to January. Oh, great. It's extended to January. See, That's all right, so after, great. after opening weekend, it's gone bang and it's out That's to January. It's actually, you know what was really great? They left the theater. They stand up at the end. They were like, they get a little crazy. Mm. But I'm happy for them because, you know, that makes them, especially when Dawn comes. Oh, I can't tell you that one. Oh, don't, don't give it, don't. <laughs> no, spoiler. what did they call it? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zip it, spoiler. Zippy. <laughs> right, okay. Spoiler. All right, you're definitely going to have to go. Gold 104.3.